Welcome to part six of my Unreal Engine beginner tutorial series. What we're going to be focusing on today is how to create a basic material. We're not going to be doing anything with master materials or instancing anything like that. It's just creating a basic material and then bringing some PBR textures into it. This is a very important beginner step. It's obviously not that difficult, but I just want to make sure that we have a baseline so that anyone that's starting off with this will have a good idea of what we're doing because the widgets, the blueprints and the materials are all actually going to tie into each other in a very near tutorial. It, it is just important that we have the base for all of these to get everything functioning. So I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you learned something. So as always, we're going to launch the engine. And as you can see, we have tutorial three, four, and five here. Those are ready to go. So if we ever need to go back to them, we have them to reference. We're going to go games next. Um, let's do third person for this one because it doesn't really matter. Go next, make sure blueprints are set up there. Tut six, first material. Create the project. Right, so in this one, I'm going to go to new editor window as I always do. And this one is a little bit different if you have only been using the first person. So just changes where the camera is, but the controls are all the same. So I'll exit out of that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come down here and I'm gonna right click, except instead of going to the user interface like we have been doing, I'm gonna come up here to material. So I'm gonna call this beginner material. So I'm just gonna save that. I'm going to go into it now, and then this is what you should have. So some of you may be familiar with nodes. Some of you may not be. It's it's actually pretty simple. I feel like Unreal Engine's materials, at least for the basic level of them, they, they're pretty easy. If you're just hooking up some normal maps, that kind of thing, you really don't need anything too flashy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and into my model library and I'm just gonna get some materials. You can use whatever ones you want. I'm sure that most of you have like some kind of texture that has a color map, a normal map. If you don't have them, I can give you some links below where you can go get some free ones, uh, specifically Polygon or iMesh, anything like that. Just You just need functioning materials. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the materials here. I'm going to pick wood and let's go with this one here. So just a basic wood material. I'll do 4K. I'm going to drop in the color map. As you can see, it pops up here. You do need to drop this in. You can't drop it right into the, the editor or the material editor like this thing. And I'm going to drop in the normal map and I'll drop in the gloss map, but I'm not sure I'm going to use it yet. I just, it's good to have these assets. So I'm going to click on the first one, shift left click over, and then I'm just going to save all of them. Perfect. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drag this in and I had them all selected. So they all came in. Uh, I am just going to get rid of the gloss for now though, because we don't need that. I'm going to go RGB into the base color. So as you can see, the preview over here has changed. And then I'm also going to take the normal and plug it right in. If you are a Blender user, you don't need to use the normal map node. You can just plug this straight into the, the main uh, material node here. I'm actually not sure what you'd call this. I guess just the, the hub for all of the, the plugins. So we're going to save that. And then if we come down here, I'm going to create a cube, drop that in here. And then I'm going to take the beginner material and I'm just going to drag that right on here. So as you can see, the material now is in there. There's not too much, I guess, information because even though we have a normal map, it doesn't look that interesting. So something that we can do is we can come back in here and you can just type in, you can hold S to create a scalar parameter or you can just right click and go scalar parameter. Now you can technically get a value by holding one and doing that, 
but I don't recommend you do it like this. I find the scalar parameters are much better and you're going to see in the next tutorial why there's a lot better. But if we plug this into metallic, copy this down, copy it again. So I just hit control, I clicked on this, hit control C, that will copy it and then control V paste it. So you can see control V, it appears. I'm going to plug this into specular and this into roughness. So this is going to be metallic. So we're going to keep this at zero. We're going to make this specular and this is going to be set to 0.5. So as you can see, it looks a lot different once you put that on there. So then we have to control the roughness because right now this is saying that this has, it's extremely reflective. There's no roughness at all on it because the roughness is set to zero roughness and I'm going to set this to 0.3 maybe so that looks a lot better and as you can see because we have the the roughness fairly low you are actually seeing that normal map a lot better now so I'll save that now and then if we come back in here you should get a little bit more information on this it is a little bit hard to see just because of the lighting so maybe I'll go up here to lights I'll just drop in a point light and then yeah once we do that you can see it's uh it's a lot easier just to kind of see that that surface but yeah that's really all you need to do to create your first material as i mentioned we are going to be getting more difficult into this but that's just kind of the baseline with with unreal engine something that i was kind of surprised by is you really don't need that many maps it's in a lot of cases, not worth it to use something like a gloss or a roughness map because unless you have a material that is very high contrast, it's better just to use a slider. That's what I found at least. And you can still get really great results and it's just less textures overall. If you're using a color, a roughness and a normal map, just by removing that roughness map, you're gonna get a scene that looks almost the exact same, except you're now using only two thirds of the textures that you were previously using. So we're gonna get more into materials in the next tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.